Naruto versus Madara. I've been seeing posts on TikTok, Reddit, talking about how Madara is stronger than adult Naruto. Now I'm gonna assume these are one, children, and two, just finish shipping it because they clearly don't know how far Naruto has come. Now I think anyone who factors power clipping knows where I'm going with this, but Madara would absolutely get decimated. It's not a question. But to make this an actual video, I'll place them against each other at different time periods. Starting off with KCM2 Sage Mode Naruto versus EMS Madara with Kurama. Any Naruto lower than KCM2 gets violently brutalized. The only argument you can make for Madara versus Naruto as kids would be if Naruto let out the Nine Tails. Now to be clear, I believe Madara will be able to suppress the Nine Tails, just like Sasuke did during the meetup at Orochimaru's hideout. But is that even winning at that point? If you have to go berserk and lose yourself to win, uh, then it's not a win. Now Sage Mode KCM2 versus Madara with the Nine Tails is actually a good matchup. It's fair. The main reason why Hashirama was able to defeat Madara back then was because he was tailor made to be Madara's counter. Madara had the complete Nine Tails wrapped with Susano and still lost. This will not be the case for Naruto, seeing that he doesn't have ceiling or chakra absorption, making this fight infinitely harder for him, but not impossible. Naruto was seen tussling with the Nine Tails while just in Sage Mode. Now this is just half of the Nine Tails, but it's a significantly weaker Naruto. One thing you could say about this fight was that it did take place in his mind or some shit, so I could see an argument, but I don't know. I feel like the power levels are still the same, because if I was in my head, I just think myself infinitely stronger than the nine tails ah. now kcm2 was built different he was able to single-handedly keep the allied nations alive just in time for the hokage to arrive while going against madara and obito now this madara wouldn't have wood style or rinnegan so the question is how can he match the near bottomless chakra of naruto's shadow clones rasengan barrages i'll answer it he can't. Madara may have the complete Kurama, but it doesn't compare to a controlled one. Without the amps he received after fighting Hashirama, I don't think he'd be durable enough. I believe Naruto takes this mid difficulty. Now you take that same Naruto and put him against Madara with Wood Style and Rinnegan, and the results completely flip. Anything Naruto would throw at him would get absorbed. Plus he had Limbo clones. Now Naruto may have a counter for this with his Sage Mode sensory abilities. I'm just not sure if he would need the six paths to be able to. Maybe Kurama could sense the negative emotions, but if not, Naruto would just get assassinated. Anyway, this model was seen dragging all nine-tailed beasts easily, solo squad the five Kage, and when Obito had the ten tails, Madara wasn't worried. He seemed almost as if he knows he can get him back or defeat Obito. I'm not saying he would beat Obito in that state, but it sure seemed like he thought he could. Naruto would most likely lose this. Now, let's get to six path sage mode naruto obviously this naruto beats this monitor without the ten tails because we saw him overpowering a monitor with it so we can just get this guy up out of here also we can skip to the monitor with both rinnegan because well we Coco. know how that went now naruto when he fought this monitor was just learning the extent of his powers the dude gave kakashi an eyeball and didn't know how to explain it which is absolutely crazy wouldn't this be like the creation of all things technique my man's made something from from nothing. Yin Yang release is god work. Anyway, this Naruto developed later on in the Kaguya fight and even more in the final valley with techniques like boil release, unrivaled strength, and his ability to quickly gather nature energy would make this a pretty good fight. People seem to forget that Naruto was able to hold his own against Kaguya while Sasuke was in another dimension. Now I read somewhere that Kaguya was able to use infinite Tsukiyomi without the moon, basically saying she can cast it on individuals. So I guess it's possible for Madara to do it as well unfortunately we'll never know now i honestly want to say madara would win this seeing that it took naruto and sasuke to fight him but i don't know about a developed six paths naruto you guys tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below and while you're down there hit the subscribe button now the naruto from the last completely destroys madara i believe it was stated that tonetti was a greater threat than kaguya i mean i didn't see the threat but you know and naruto basically no diffed him naruto from the last is probably my favorite version of naruto and that's because he properly displays how op he is i really don't like how he's betrayed in Boruto sometimes. But 
Honestly, it gets worse the older Naruto gets. Obviously, Naruto and Boruto smacks. But for this one, we're gonna talk about him without Kurama. Naruto in based and sicken dodged a light speed attack. He was able to tussle with Fuse Momoshiki for a bit while he was drained. And my man was given Delta the beats and he easily countered Karma Amp, the Boruto, and Kawaki. Now let's talk about Sage Mode and the power increase that it provides. During the pain arc, Naruto Naruto went from being severely punished by Sasuke to beating the brakes off pain. If Naruto's base can hang with Otsutsuki level threats, what do you think a Sage Mode amp is going to do to Madara? Plus, Sage Mode gets stronger with age. Madara would simply get blitzed. No time for a hand sign, no time for an eyeball. Blitzed. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have exclusive content here. Also, comment down below what you think about adult Naruto with no Karama versus Madara. I say easy claps. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Karma out.